This is what your scan looks like. This is what your scan looked like in May. Right? This is on the 6th of... I'm going to take this mask off. Sorry. So this is what it looked like on the 8th of May. Yeah? So you, we still had some residual uh, disease in the prostate, which has further reduced now. Uh, there's just some minimal residual disease in the prostate. The rest of him is absolutely clear. So all the lymph nodes so are all the rest of the rest of there's no no the the lymph nodes which we had seen at baseline. Um, I think maybe I will show you the first scan which was done in March. I think this is prior to the first time that you came to us. Um, yeah, so at that time we had, we had this, so uh, this is in March. This is on the 12th of March. This is prior to the first dose of the Leticia, right? So you had this lesion in the, the you had this big lesion in the prostate gland, right? And you had another lesion in the, on the other side of the prostate gland, and which was invading the seminal vesicles. And you had some lymph nodes in the pelvis large nodes which are sitting here on both sides and uh, so all this you know so this was all the disease that you had at that time and you had nodes which were going up right up to the um, in the power what we call as the common iliac regions yeah so you can see them in, on this scan so all this this is all this is all the disease this is normal, this is the gallbladder. You had the gallbladder at that time, now you don't. <laughs> so, uh, so this was the disease at that time. And then I'm gonna open your March scan along with the scan which is done today. Okay. So, this one. Mm. Let's open it on this. So I'm just trying to bring both of them to the same level. So you can make out from this scan itself, you know, all these little spots which were there, they've all disappeared. The top one is now? Yeah, the top one is now. The bottom one is the one which was done on 12th of March. Now, interestingly, what we see now is that as compared to the prior scan, the kidneys have started shining more than what, you know, if you, if you, if you, compared to the rest of the structures that this is called the uh, you know this was called the sink effect which means that because the tumor was eating up a lot of the uh, lot of the isotope so there was less um, to go around radioisotope which was getting excreted by the kidneys because it was all taken up by the tumor whereas now since there is no tumor, so everything that we are injecting into you is just going Showing out of your the kidneys. kidneys right? So, and if you compare with, you know, compare what we had, which is, so we, So 
so this is at the same level you can see the bones they are at the same level so this is gone okay is that the liver that big thing yeah this is the big this is the liver yeah this is the prostate right so this was the prostate now this is gone okay These were the nodes which were there. So there's nothing there. Not just, not just that they are not showing any activity. They are not there. They have disappeared. Even structurally, there is no, there is nothing left behind. Okay. Then you have the nodes which are up here. You smoke? Um, no. A long time ago. Long time ago. How can you tell? There is some calcification around the uh, aorta, which is, you know, the, uh, yes. as we age, the vessels, there is some calcification which happens. It happens more in patients who have diabetes or who smoke. Can you do anything for it? No. Nothing. So this is a normal wear and tear of the body. Oh, so no. This is, yeah. So this is... Um, so you see all these nodes, they've disappeared. So then nothing is there. So when I first came in, um, what classification of disease would I have been... Uh, so you had... Uh, you had... Gray, uh, you had... Uh, you had multiple lesions in the prostate okay. which were involving both the lobes of your uh, of your prostate yes. and then you had some uh, lymph nodes in the pelvis uh, predominantly lymph nodes in the pelvis going up to the uh, where the aorta bifurcates into the two iliac vessels right so that would be stage 3 disease okay. yeah but uh, now we don't see any evidence of disease. So this time round, what we would be treating you would be probably just to um, to wipe out whatever residual um, microscopic disease which is left behind, which uh, we are actually not able to see. Um, but we, we kind of assume that it is there since your PSA level has still not gone down to an undetectable level. So obviously, um, 